Hello everybody, my name is Tommy and welcome to Aero Workshop. It's a new year and it's also a new tool day here in the workshop as I have just received the Afiro Laser 2. Now this is a laser engraving and cutting machine. Now this was sent to me by our tour to try out on the channel. So let's open it up and see what's in the box. Okay, so out of the box you get some certificates of conformity. You get a user manual which also gives you the link to where to go to get your assembly instructions and things like that. Or you can scan the QR code. And I must say that the instructions are very clear and easy to follow. But as you'll see, there's not much assembly to this because it comes partially assembled. So you have your two Y gantries as we'll call it, you have your X gantry, you have a front section and a back section. But the wiring and all is all in place, your stepper motors and all are all in place, your belts and all are in place, so there's very little assembly to it. You have the few cables you need, you also get the very important uh, laser safety glasses which you should be wearing every time you're using the laser to protect the eyes. You have a cable to connect from the laser to your laptop. You have your power uh, supply here and it also came with a little adapter for Irish and UK plugs. You get a few sample pieces of plywood and acrylic to use as testers. You get a laser adjusting aluminium sheet, so you can adjust the focus of the laser. But the laser that came with this, I also got a spacer that if you set that spacer in, it gives you exact height for the laser. So setting up is very easy. Some cable ties and the nuts and balls and Allen key and all that's needed to put it together come in a packet. And lastly then is the laser module itself. Now this is the LU2 slash 4 slash SF laser module. Now it's a diode laser module. It's a 5.5 watt uh, strength. Now it has the removable protective cap on the end to stop as much of the laser rays getting out to your eyes as possible. But I believe that there is four different choices in the laser module. Uh, but you can check those out on the website. So as I said, it's a simple enough process to actually put this together because a lot of it is pre-assembled. So I won't do a step-by-step -step of it, but I will do a time-lapse of putting it together.
Okay, so as you've just seen, it's a very simple process to actually assemble the laser. Now, I have gone ahead as well and I have connected the USB connection from the laser to my laptop and I have also connected the power source. Now, to operate the laser, you will need some sort of a control program. Now, there's two options for this that I'm aware of. The first one is a free uh, program called Laser GRBL, or some people call it Laser Gerbil. And you can download that for free and use it. Now, there would be limits to what you can do with that program. So there is another program called Lightburn. Now, that is a subscription program, so you do have to pay for it. But it does come with a 30-day free trial, so you can try it out before you actually purchase. And the purchase price is actually not that expensive. So I have went ahead and I have downloaded my 30-day free trial of Lightboard into the laptop, and that's what I'll be using to control the laser. It's a very simple process to connect the laser to either one. It's just a case of finding your device and adding it into the software. So that step, I'm not going to cover that. But if you are using Lightburn, it will ask you, do you want to have auto home feature for the laser? And you want to make sure you have that part turned off because you don't have automatic homing on this because it does not have uh, home and switches. So but the software doesn't know where the machine is once you turn it on. So what I'm going to do is I am going to manually home the machine down to the bottom left hand corner before I plug it into the laptop at any stage, so then I can actually work from zero. But you can't automatically go back to zero because there is no home and switches on the laser. But other than that, it's a very simple process to connect. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start trying to do some engraving. So I'm going to do up a few programs in Lightburn, and then we'll come back to the laser and we'll see how it gets on doing some engraving. Okay, I've actually uploaded my logo into Lightburn, so I'm actually going to carry out two tests in one. I'm actually going to engrave the logo, and then I'm going to cut out the circle around it. So first off, I need to set the laser module to height. So using the spacer provided, drop the laser on it, and tighten the screw, and remove that, and then it's just a case in Lightburn of hit and start.
Okay, as you can see, that turned out pretty well for the first time trying out this laser. Now, I did use the settings that are recommended by Artor in the portal where you go in to get the instructions for uh, assembling the machine and all. So those were the settings I used and they worked first time. This is three millimeter plywood and it cut through it in one pass. Now, I didn't say earlier, this machine will have a working area of 390 millimeters by 390 millimeters. It's not massive, but for a lot of engraving that I'm going to be doing, it's going to be well capable of doing anything that I'm going to want to do. I, at this stage, I'd like to give my initial impressions of the Afira Laser 2, and I have to say, I'm impressed. It's simple to put together. It's actually simple enough to use the software, the light burn software to operate it. And it's actually enjoyable to watch it um, doing its thing. And once I get the settings dialed in for the cuts and the engraving that I'm going to be wanting to do, I think that this is going to be a great asset to the workshop and it'll run along nicely side by side with the CNC. The one thing I would like to say at this stage though is, it does create a lot of fumes and smoke. Now, I have a pretty big workshop, but you would still know that there was smoke and fumes in the air. Now, if you are considering getting these to be using them in a small space, you will have to look at some sort of um, extraction to the outside to get air into the, to the workshop. Now, our tour do do an enclosure that you can get for these that have a little fan and a pipe that you can run through a wall or out through a window that in, totally encloses the machine so that all the fumes are actually extracted away. Uh, I'll leave the link to the Artur website in the description of this video and you can go, you can check out these and the enclosures etc in that link. Now that is an affiliate link uh, so if you do happen to decide that you want to purchase one of these and you purchase it through that link it just means that I get a small contribution for to use on the channel here. So like I said this is just to get the ball rolling on this machine. I will do further videos once I learn more about it. I don't want to continue on now when I actually am only learning the machine, but I will come back at a later stage and explain how I've been getting on with the machine and how I can figure out the, the speeds and the percentage that you should be using the laser at to do cuts and engraving on different types of materials as well as just on wood. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, maybe you consider giving it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already done so, maybe you consider subscribing to the channel. So, until next time, all that's left for me to say is thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Good luck.